So we are there to, to, tonight, this afternoon, to show a tool that we are elaborating through Talon. So I'm Anne-Laure, Practice Manager, and I will present with, with Remy and Camille from the machine learning team of Talon. So uh, we want to present you briefly what the project is, why the project has, has been uh, made, and what the results will be with a demo. So uh, I will present the introduction and Camille will give you a demo at the end of the presentation. So we can see that our, in our nowadays basis use, we have a lot of uh, intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence all around us. So with the, with the cell phone, with the car, soon. Uh, with all our Google application, with the chatbot and things like that. But we are not yet at the time where the robot will stand in front of you and, and discuss with you as a, a real person. So we, have, we, we want to use those concepts of artificial intelligence of the nowadays in business, uh, business problematics. So we have, we have set up a list of problematic that we can address with this tool, like product cluster, clustering, maintenance, um, B2B, B2C behavior, and other things that a firm uh, will want to know how the customer will react and how they can prevent churn, for example, and, uh, and things like that. So in our approach uh, of this project, uh, our goal is to make uh, for the marketing teams, sales teams, and other operational teams the thing easier for them to have some results and to have some real and precise uh, cluster or groups of customers or projects that they can use and they can uh, apply in their, in their marketing um, process. Uh, in the project, so we have uh, made all the steps, mathematical steps, that make for them the work easy. Um, the first step is the user entry because we want for the user to have a friendly interface, to have something that he can uh, relate to when he enter in the tool that can talk to him and that he can recognize how to enter, how to use his data and how to, to process them. So we have made an interface uh, friend, friendly interface so that it, it can be easier and faster also to enter data and let them process behind the scenes. So for this processing behind the scenes, we have the second step that is the data loading and transformation because in these steps, we, we do the work. That means that all that the user needs behind to uh, transform the data, to clean the data, to uh, make all the columns proper is already done in these steps. Then we go to the third step, where we can use the model, the more precise model for the kind of data the user enter in the tool. Uh, and we have divided them into three main parts. So the text mining for everything on the social media, comments, uh, everywhere you can find comments. You can enter them and we will have the text mining. The second part is the unsupervised learning uh, where we have choose few algorithms and uh, programize de them so that it can be um, it can be automatic and produce the results. Uh, I want to say just like that, but not quite just like that for the moment. The third part will be the supervised learning, um, where we have set the best statistical ways to treat all the kind of data that we already have. To go further, we have identified identified few use cases that can enter into these three three parts, three cases. Uh, the text mining can be used for log, email, and filling treatment through this tool. The second part we can we, we can have in this part the customer profiling and product clustering, uh, like for marketing for. Um, um, marketing and for everything about the around the project and around all the all the the way to choose what to offer to your customers the third part will be more uh, more usable for churn for scoring for everything like insurance and bank business 
And at this point, I will give the word to Remy. Thank you, Anne-Laure. So just to continue to what uh, Anne-Laure said, uh, I will explain our tool, how it works uh, in detail. So in our solution, the first thing you will do is to talk with the chatbot. Uh, you will, uh, he will ask you to give him uh, data. So you will feed him with data. We'll give him a data set. Uh, the chatbot will decide whether your treatment it will be unsupervised or supervised depending on the, the sentence that you ask him. So if you ask him to do a churn forecast, it will be stored as uh, supervised learning. Uh, just to clarify, if you maybe not, don't know what is unsupervised and supervised learning. So unsupervised learning is just you have a data set and you want to uh, group your data, but you don't know the internal structure of it. And supervised learning is the same thing, but you group your data knowing the st internal structure of your data. So after this, thank you. So after this, uh, the, our solution will gi give you the result with a plot and with your data set classified. So just to um, dig into the unsupervised treatment. So if your chatbot decides that the treatment is unsupervised, um, the first part will be to give him your data set to feed him, like I said before. Uh, the second part will be the pre-processing. So our algorithm will pre-process your data to put it in the correct format in order to uh, give uh, the models, the algorithm to it. Uh, so the third part is, as I said, the, to give the algorithm to apply the models on your data. And the last step is to uh, check which is the best model that the algorithm has applied because it will apply a lot of models and we will show you we will show to the user just the first or the three best models uh, selected by the algorithm so for the supervised learning uh, it's currently a work in progress and you if if you want we will, you we will give you more information about this this process in uh, september of this year so let's see some results and some how it works with uh, real data and uh, real things. So as you may see here, uh, you will give to our chatbot a data set maybe like this one. Maybe you have one of these in your company or in uh, your work. Uh, so you have a column that you want to segment and you have a lot of information to do to with it and you want to uh, see if there is uh, an internal structure in your data and uh, some groups that you want to guess. So now you can see that you will chat with the, with the chatbot. Uh, it will ask you what you want to do with your data, and you will just write the sentence that you want. Um, and our algorithm will decide which type of models it is and apply the best models uh, developed by our data scientists. So let's see an example. Uh, you may have seen in the stand, uh, in the, it's on the B team, uh, the B theme. Uh, Let's see this problem. So if there is uh, any data scientist in, in this audience, please don't mind of what I am going to say. It's not really accurate, but let's see. So you have a group of bees and uh, in a field, maybe, and you want to group the bees in their each uh, hives. So each bee may be part of one hive. So if you look at this problem, maybe, maybe if I had to group them, I will make three groups. I don't know if you maybe make other repartition, but let's see uh, how, our, our, how our algorithm will do it. So as you see, there is one team, the blue team, which is uh, affected to the blue hive, uh, the yellow team and the red team. And what about the black uh, bees? We'll see just right, just now. So the algorithm has drawn three groups. This is a segmentation. So the first group is the blue group, the yellow group, and the red group. Uh, they are grouped because uh, the bees are so have some points in common. So maybe uh, if you have clients, you want to know uh, what are the points in common in your, with your clients. So we have done the same thing with the bees. So what about the black bees? So the black bees are weird bees. They have no team. Uh, so they, have, they, are, they are considered as outliers, so they are not affected to any group. Uh, and our algorithm will detect the weird bees and put them in outliers category. So now I will show you a live demo. Uh, and um, 
Camille will comment it. Thank you, Remy. So, I'm going to explain you uh, how our tool works. So, first, you import your data set uh, in CSV. So, the data set Remy showed you, and you choose some options like the separator, for example. Okay. Then you ask the chatbot what uh, you want him to do with your data. So, for example, uh, you can put a keyword or a full sentence. For example, here we want him to segment, uh, to do a segment on uh, the data set we just import. Okay. So then you choose a column to do the segmentation. So here we just have one choice for this data set. But uh, well. then you choose a level of precision. So the higher it is, the longer it will take to, to make the model. So here we choose 85%. So we do several models. This is the best model. So uh, as you can see, there are three clusters that have been identified because you have three colors, so in red, in black, and in green. And you can also see uh, the correlation between the variables. For example, uh, the highest correlation between the way and the length. So if you like this, um, this model, you can download it. Or you can see other models. So let's see. So there are three other models. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's from the best to the worst. Like here, we have only two colors, so it's less good. So uh, if you have a question or if you want more information, you can come and see us. And uh, yeah. 